Hello students, I am Vivi Andriani. We meet again. Our, pro our program is Be Proficient in English with Venus. So what do we have this time? Here are our learning objectives. At the end of this session, you are able to explain the meaning of cause and effect conjunctions. And you are able to use the conjunctions properly in your sentences. So, here is our agenda. The first one is conjunctions. The second is the use of conjunctions. And the third one is forms of conjunctions. What is a conjunction? A conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases, or sentences. There are some types of conjunctions actually, but in our session today, we are dealing with cause and effect, effect conjunctions. Cause and effect conjunctions are used to link two sentences to show cause and effect relationship. So how about the form? Which form do we use? Remember that the form we use depends on our focus, whether we focus on the cause or on the effect. So we can say that cause conjunctions are used to introduce the reason of a sentence. Cause, yeah, the reason. And effect conjunctions are used to show the purpose of a sentence. Look at this example. If we want to focus on the cause, we can use because, since, as, due to, or owing to. And the form is clause, clause 1. And you have the conjunctions because, or since, or as, plus clause 2. But if you use due to or owing to, then these conjunctions should be followed by gerund or noun. Let's look at the example to make it clearer. He could not go to his best friend's birthday party because he was suffering from a fever. You have because, so you have clause 1 and clause 2. The second example, he could not go to his best friend's birthday party due to his illness. The meaning of these two sentences is the same, but we use different forms of conjunctions. Because and due to. Please pay attention to the words followed those conjunctions. If you use because, then you use a complete sentence and if you use due to, you have to use gerund or a noun. So, this is the example again to make it clearer. He was suffering from a fever is a clause, is a complete sentence. You can find a subject and a predicate. And his illness is a noun. How about if we focus on the effect? What are the phrases we use? The phrases are as a result, so, therefore. 
Here is the form clause 1 plus so therefore as a result plus clause 2. He woke up late this morning, therefore he decided to skip breakfast to catch the train. So you have therefore and then you have a complete sentence. Pay attention to some other examples. Amir drank three cups of black coffee. He could not sleep until 2 a.m. Please combine these two sentences using conjunctions. And this time is because. Okay. Amir could not sleep until 2 a.m. because he drank three cups of black coffee. And then how about the second one? The field trip was cancelled. It was raining heavily. And this time, you have to combine the two sentences using due to. And you may put due to at the beginning of the sentence. Due to the heavy rain, the field trip was cancelled. Okay, that's great. The third one. There weren't enough beds. I had to sleep on the sofa. This time, please use so. And your sentence will be, there weren't enough beds, so I had to sleep on the sofa. This is to summarize our today's discussion. Please remember, some conjunctions are used to express the concept of cause and effect. And the second one, the structure of the sentence depends on the conjunctions used. So if you use different kinds of conjunctions, then the forms will be different. Again, I would like you to practice and practice and practice. And don't forget to learn with pleasure because what you learn with pleasure, you will never forget. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.